the grade A questions at GCSE can often now involve algebraic area, which involves using your normal area techniques to find an expression for the area of the given shape. Now then, the first example is a rectangle and we know to find the area of a rectangle we multiply the two sides together. So to find this area we would have to work out what x add 3 times x plus 8 is. You might use a grid method or foil or smiley face but we know the answer becomes x squared plus 11x plus 24. So that is an expression for the area of the rectangle. Now for the second shape we have a triangle. Now for a triangle we know we have to do a half times base times height. Now this is the base, this is the height, so the area must be like so, half base height. The key here is to place brackets around the expression on the sides. Now don't let the half put you off. Here we have to work out the bracket part first. We know that if we expand this we get x squared minus 3 plus 7 4x minus 3 times 7 minus 21. And to keep this simple all we need to do is to write the bit in the bracket and place it all over 2. Remember the half just comes from the formula for the area of a triangle. The third shape is a trapezium. Now a trapezium they actually give you the formula for the area in the exam paper. But as a reminder, this is how the formula looks. Now A and B correspond to the parallel sides. H corresponds to the height. Now we place the expressions into the formula and hope to make it simpler. We have a half. A is 2x plus 5. B is x add 3. H is x. Now the method here is to gradually make it more simple. Now within the bracket we have a 2x and an x which is a 3x. We have a 5 and a 3, which is an 8, and we have an x. Don't worry about the half yet. We expand that part of the expression to give us 3x times x is 3x squared, 8 times x is 8x. And then to finish off with, we write the bit in the bracket all over 2. And that is an expression there for the area of the trapezium.